Hey guys, welcome to Emlyn in the Mix. Just wanted to show you a really quick video on the Core Gadget 2 update. Um, particularly in the drums department. Uh, I've got a London open here on uh, track 2. I've got another Resife on my track 1. Um, but what I wanted to show you guys today was something really cool and new that's featured in uh, the Core Gadget 2 update. And it's this um, really easy to use uh, drum loop feature which allows you to basically um, program in drums or it's already got the rhythms uh, programmed in for you so then you can then create something uh, to your own taste. Alright so I've got it on the 4 beat 1 here, here we go I'll just play it for you. And then obviously you could change your kits as well. Um, so you can go through your kits and still use that same rhythm and get some different variations. So below this line down the bottom here, that's like more of a simple rhythm and then gets more complicated as we go to the top and more sort of going on so I've just changed my rhythm here, we've got 16 beat 1 so you can get some really interesting variations, we'll go through a few here And if we look at our rhythm presets, you can see we've got heaps. Ballad one, bossa, breakbeat, let's have a look. Disco. Drum and bass. Now what you could do is actually look for drum and bass as a rhythm and then look for a kit that would uh, go with that. So let's have a look here. Let's try junglist, here we go. So then you can really dial in the genre that you want. Now the other thing I just wanted to quickly show you, we go over to my track 1 here. So I've got a Resife uh, in here as well and this features the rhythm input here, which is new to Cog Gadget 2. You got it on Tribal there, but you could have it on anything, you got tons, R&B. Maybe that kit's not right for that. Now the best part is if you find something you like, you literally just hit record here, press play. There you go, it's in. And what you could do is while you're recording, uh, you could actually mix in your different variations. So that's recorded that little bit of automation of the rhythm there that I've just input. Um, so there's a really cool update and new feature for Core Gadget 2. I believe it's available on all the drums. If we have a look, we go to drums, um, Tokyo, let's have a look if it's here. Actually, I don't know if it's on here. Yeah, it is. There you go. That's a first for me. I didn't even realize it's on Tokyo, which is cool. get some really wild variations. Anyway, there you have it guys, we've just had a quick look. Um, there are obviously other drums, uh, but which you need to purchase in Core Gadget 2 for the iPad version. Just looking at the free ones here. Um, just wanted to show you that nifty little feature. Thanks for joining me on Emlyn Mix. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment in the comment section below if there's something more you want to see in Core Gadget 2. And until next time, let's see you on the flip side. Peace out.